Hey folks, Ben from Media Agility here at Google Premier Partner. In this video here today, we're going to talk about how you and your team can make the most out of the transition from G Suite to Google Workspace. If you're watching this video, chances are you've heard about the transition and are currently wondering, as many are, how is this going to impact my business? How is this going to impact the end users? How is this going to impact your bottom line? And how is this going to impact the features that you have access to, right? As you move from G Suite, which you're familiar with, to the new Google Workspace. We're going to answer all of those questions here in this video today. So stay put and watch this thing. Uh, I'm going to make sure that you have everything you need to make the right decision to, again, make the most out of your transition to Google Workspace. I want to first rewind and just provide a little bit of context around what this transition is, what Google Workspace is. So likely if you're watching this video, you are a Google Workspace admin or IT leader. So chances are you have actually received an official MSA from Google via email in either September or October of 2021, detailing the kind of high level overview of what this transition is. You can also learn more from Google Direct by checking out this link here. I've included this in the notes beneath this video, so you can go and refer to this here. Again, this is directly from Google. You can learn a little bit more about the transition and uh, some of the, the common questions that people are asking. We're actually gonna hammer those out here today a little bit more clearly, I believe. Uh, and so, uh, but if you wanted any more context, you can of course get that in the link below. So first, I wanna spend a moment just providing some background information, what you need to know about the G Suite transition. So first and foremost, understand that Google will be depreciating all legacy G Suite licenses. Importantly, for those of you with over 300 users, regardless of the G Suite license that you're on, you will be moved to an enterprise SKU for workspace. Uh, we're going to talk more about this in the coming slides, so, so stay put. We will touch on that. For many of your businesses that are currently on Flex licensing, so this is the, the standard month-to-month -month licensing that if you're working with Google directly, chances are you're on. Uh, these will automatically transition. If no action is taken by November and thereafter, these licenses will automatically transition to the closest equivalent Google Workspace plan to your current licensing. It's important to recognize that Google determines which that plan is based upon the features that you use. So you will not lose features, but for some of you, this may increase your price by up to 50%. So don't go anywhere. We are gonna touch on that in the following slides as well. Timeline is also important to keep in mind. This retirement and transition will be taking place as early as November 2021. You should be receiving an email to your admin accounts 30 days in advance to when Google plans it for your organization. Uh, and the reason I mention that is because although it may happen as early as November 2021, Google anticipates this taking several months to cover all of their billions of users globally. So it will begin and go through separate flights your organization may be impacted as early as November. For those of you who are on annual contracts, so this is if you're working with a partner or if you've got a discount with Google directly, uh, you can honor that contract through its duration. So if you signed a three-year deal last year, you don't have to worry about this transition for two more years. However, it may behoove you to transition proactively uh, to take advantage of some of the current discounts as well as some of the new features that are rolling out on Google Workspace exclusively. However, if you want to stay put, know that you can. Google is honoring all of those contracts, of course, uh, through their termination or uh, through their full duration, I should say. Uh, and so if you do want to act proactively, they will allow you to, to break that to move to Google Workspace, but you do not have to. So the next important thing to understand is how this transition may impact your specific organization. So first of all, your users are going to begin seeing a change of name and some change of logos and some very basic uh, user interface changes. Nothing that's going to feel like things are out of place or anything dramatic. So it really should not impact your workflow at all. So if you do nothing and your licenses change, 
your end users will not have any interruption of service. It's just going to be some very minor changes. The transition also provides new SKUs to choose from. So whereas G Suite had three license types, basic, business, and enterprise, Google Workspace now offers five, business starter, business standard, business plus, Google Workspace Enterprise Standard, Google Workspace Enterprise Plus. So those are the five core. There's also some new additions like Enterprise Frontline, Enterprise Essentials, and some other things that we can discuss in further videos, but those are the five core. So what this means is that you are now able to more precisely match your organization's needs to the capabilities and pricing of these different licenses. For some of you, this may result in a change in core features and or price. So specifically, I wanna focus on those of you who may be using G Suite Business and utilizing Google Vault and or archive user licenses. If you are using either of those, G Suite Business is currently $12 per month per user. These are going to be moving to Google Workspace Business Plus at $18 per user. So there is an increase of price. If you want to maintain those features, there's going to be a change in price. If you do not, then that's not something you have to worry about. Uh, however, if it is, know that there are some discounts. We're gonna to touch on that in just a moment. So hang tight there as well. Now, for those of you, possibly the, the most potentially significant impact is for those of you on G Suite Basic or G Suite Business, with over 300 users, because all of those are going to then be pushed to an enterprise licensing. Uh, this is very common. The 300 user thresholds have existed for years for Microsoft and many other enterprise softwares and platforms. Google Workspace is now adopting this ultimately to help you get the most out of it because with 300 users comes new complexities to your mobile device management, to your security, to some of your collaboration settings. So if you are not utilizing some of the enterprise uh, features, you may actually be putting your users um, at a disadvantage. So this is ultimately to help you, but that does come with a significant price increase from G Suite Basic or G Suite Business. So hang tight, we're gonna talk about the pricing in just a moment. First, I wanna help you walk through and determine exactly what plan you anticipate uh, moving to. So here's a, a handy dandy decision tree. I've also included a link below this video so that you can download this and use it yourself. But really quickly, I'm going to walk you through this just so you understand where some of these questions are coming from and how this decision tree works. So of course, we're going to start here. And the, the kind of primary question is, how important is security? Are features like data loss protection, context aware access for zero trust uh, computing, advanced mobile device management, unlimited storage, are those a priority for you? If the answer is yes, then automatically you're gonna be looking at an enterprise SKU, either enterprise standard or enterprise plus. The second follow-up question is, is having the most advanced mobile device management, security and workflow automation through app sheet and connected sheets, uh, are those a priority for you? If you wanna have the ultimate security console, uh, you're gonna to wanna to go with Enterprise Plus. You get a lot more firepower there and you're also able to consolidate a lot of third-party apps like Proofpoint into Google Workspace Enterprise Plus because it comes with built-in malware detection and some other really cool tools. If you wanna look at the individual features for each of these five SKUs, there's actually a link below for a data sheet that compares them feature by feature so you can see specifically uh, what each of these plans come with. But if you want the most secure, Enterprise Plus is gonna be your way to go. If security is important, but you don't need that Enterprise Plus security, Enterprise Standard is gonna be what we would recommend. The other question that you should be asking is, if uh, security is not your utmost priority, do you have 300 plus users? If the answer is yes, again, you're going to be looking at an Enterprise plan as we discussed. If you don't have over 300 users, the next question is, do you use Google Vault or archive user licenses? So if you use Google Vault for e-discovery and compliance, if you use archive users to help right-size your licensing, uh, then you're gonna wanna look at Business Plus licenses. 
so that you can maintain those functionality. If not, is shared drives, is drive storage above 30 gigabytes or meet recording, video recording? Are those a priority? If so, business standard is going to be where you want to look. And that's a $12 SKU, which we'll discuss in just a moment. Uh, if not, if you just really need kind of the basics, uh, then business starter is going to be your plan. If you have any questions about these, again, check out that that uh, feature comparison or reach out to the folks at Media Agility. We'd be happy to answer any questions that you have about these individual SKUs and which is best for you. You can also use this tool to help make that decision. From here, I want to talk a little bit about pricing, right? That's probably what's been on your mind this whole time. First, I'm just going to introduce some of Google's list price costs. So again, these are for flex licenses, month to month licensing at list price from Google. So first of all, business starter, again, the most basic license for Google Workspace uh, starts at $6. Business standard is a $12 license. So again, this gets you shared drives and a couple other things as well. Uh, you can take a look at the full feature comparison below. Google Workspace Business Plus. Again, this comes with your Vault and your archive user licenses, as well as some advanced mobile device management. This is a jump up to $18 per license. If you have over 300 users or you have determined that security is a high priority for you, uh, then Google Workspace Enterprise Standard is going to be where you're going to start. And that's at $20 per license list price. Enterprise Plus starts at $30. Uh, and so again, Google Workspace Enterprise Plus comes with add-ons like AppSheet. It also has connected sheets, so you can do large uh, data analysis. Uh, it also comes with the most robust security posture and a lot of other great add-ons that allow you to consolidate a lot of third-party tools into this. So uh, well worth that price point, but it is a jump up, so something to be mindful of. However, I want to reiterate this point here. Together, Google and Media Agility are offering very special discounting for this transition here in Q4. And so all of these prices, if you look at them and you're like, whoa, a jump to $18 to $20 to $30, maybe a bit much. Know that all of these are relative because if you're willing to commit to an annual or three-year plan, uh, we have seen discounts all the way up to 40% off. So your eligibility is going to vary. Uh, but reach out to Media Agility and we'll be able to find out what you're eligible for and help you see what the actual licensing cost would be for your organization. Again, Google and Media Agility are doing this really to help organizations through this transition, recognizing uh, that for some folks, it will impact their bottom line. And we want to make sure that that is as seamless uh, and easy as possible. So as you think about your next steps, there's a couple core questions I want you to ask yourself. First, review the beginning part of this video. How will your specific licenses be impacted by this transition based upon what we've talked about? Do you want to take advantage of Google's Q4 discounts? If so, reach out to Media Agility. And then internally, as you think about the timeline here, we only have a couple more weeks before November. What is the internal process to ensure that you can move forward prior to uh, the end of October or the beginning of November G Suite retirement. So understanding what needs to be done internally so that when you're ready to take action, you are able to take action. Again, I would encourage you to reach out to Media Agility. We're here to help you navigate this transition as well as see what sort of discounts you're eligible for so that you can really come out on top uh, of this G Suite retirement. If you have questions about Media Agility, one of the best ways that I like to describe it is that Google builds the technology, Media Agility, our team deploys and supports it. So while Google uh, creates incredible products, they engage Media Agility to provide product expertise, dedicated support, deployment services, training, and much more. All of this is complimentary. So if you work with Media Agility, we're able to do this really as an extension of Google itself, uh, getting you much more and helping you take advantage of the technology, getting the most out of it, as well as helping you with the best pricing. Uh, we also offer guaranteed support levels. Uh, and so if you have over 200 users, we can have uh, support level agreements 
They guarantee a response within one hour if there is an issue versus uh, the kind of Google standard, which is a target time of four hours response, but nothing guaranteed. So if you're interested in reaching out, working with Media Agility, seeing what sort of licenses are best for you and what sort of discounts are available, please reach out. I've included a link below as well to our inquiry. I look forward to speaking to you soon and wish you all the best through this transition from G Suite to Google Workspace. Cheers.